come back. Are you ready to board this ship? And which episode might that be? Episode 14! Oh, oh, I'm gonna be a pirate! Hey matey, hobby ye. In pirate lingo, this means, hey guys, how are you doing? I got some booty for ya. No, that doesn't mean I have butts for you. It means treasure. I think they also call it swag, which I find really amusing. I didn't know the pirates used the word swag. So let's start with our new episode here. You can see our box says skull drops normal. So let's start by copying a renderer over. Now if you move up here, you can find something interesting. Come closer man. If you check out this blue box, it says raindrop footage. This is a footage that I took from a car window. I used a low angle so that the sky reflection would be very strong and the raindrops would pop out. So that we can easily derive masks and normal maps from it. Unfortunately, during this production it wasn't raining, so I had to rely on a footage I found on the internet. But for you guys I have prepared a quickie that shows how you can make a raindrop shader out of this footage. Check it out, you can find that swag in the description. So we will load the rain footage in here and then map it onto our skull. Bring in a loader. Jump to our raindrops folder. And choose the raindrops normal. View it. And let me clear this viewer here. And uh, first let's do our blur trick by using a merge and a blur. You know by now. Hook this into the blur and the merge node. And then the blur into the merge as well. And blur this to about 2. And let's set the merge blend mode to overlay. Then add a bump map node. Yo, but don't we use the bump map node in the next episode? Yes, that's right. Hook the merge into the bump map node and don't forget to set it to bump. Now the UVs we have created before are not appropriate to use this footage. So we are going to create new ones specifically for the raindrops. Zoom into the skull remapping box and add another UV map node. Hook the skull in and view it. This time lock the UVs at frame 0. Make sure you're at frame 0. For the map mode choose spherical. Then set the orientation to Z and hit fit. Let me activate the shading here. Again, do not touch those settings here. We only want to modify the rotation. For the X rotation choose minus 45.454. For the Y choose minus 24.545. And for the Z minus 67.272. Let's see how this looks. Drop in a replace material. Then between this merge and the bump node, we create a router. Alt click. From that router branch out into the replace material. View the replace material and let's turn off the shading again. Now copy this merge 3D here and paste it over. And hook in the replace material. We need our camera and our matte objects, so branch out from this override 3D into the Merge 3D. Create another router to clean this up a bit. Now we hook the Merge 3D into the renderer. View it. Let's see how this looks at different frames. So at the beginning, the skull is moving quite fast. So we don't really notice the drops and we don't really need to worry too much here. It 
is just when the ring comes closer to the camera and slows down. In this very moment, we want the drop to flow down. And here at the end again. There you go matey, you've concluded this episode. So let's quickly move to the next one and believe it or not, it is the last pass we are going to create before we move to the compositing of the skull. My name is Vito, I'll see you soon. Until then, enjoy what you're doing. One is a yo ho ho 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 yo ho